to you Yoga Studio Satya's tutorial on how to make delicious spice water. So we make spice water in springtime so we can have great healthy snot free sinuses and no springtime colds. Everything in my life is easy so I make mine in the coffee maker. I do that because I have a delay timer. I can make it up the night before when I come out in the morning that I have hot, delicious, fresh spice water made up, pour it into my thermos, pop into my car, and off I go. Alright, so first we have to make a masala. Masala just means mixture. So what goes into your spice water? Believe it or not, black pepper, a little pinch of cayenne, you'll want to do some spices to your liking such as maybe allspice, Definitely cinnamon and clove. This is whole clove in there. And of course, ginger. It smells so good. Ginger, fresh is best, but you can also use powdered kind. You can dry it and grind it into powder yourself or buy it already powdered. If you're going to store your masala, make it up for the week and store it in the cabinet, you'll want to use dry ginger as the wet ginger is not shelf stable. Alright, so what you do is take your mixture of spices and you can place that into a coffee grinder, into a high speed blender with a grinding attachment, or if you really want a great sensory treat, you can do it in an old school mortar and pestle and grind your spices into a powder yourself and release all that wonderful fragrance. So what you end up with is... A masala that you can pack into a little container. When you open it and put your face in there, you should have this great smell. The spices should be warming and they should have this wonderful, fresh pungency so it's not old and stale smelling. So you make it up, up to a week ahead and put it into your little container that you can keep right there in your cabinet. Alright, so when you're ready to make your spice water, you get your regular little basket that comes in your coffee maker and put a little in there and pop it in. Just like that. Everything in my life is that easy. Um, I love the delay timer and notice I didn't give you any measurements. I didn't tell you how much powder to put in. I didn't tell you how much of each spice should go in there. That's for you to experiment. That's for you to play with. I want you to try it and see what you think. Adjust the spices so that it's actually a personalized masala for you. The pungency, the strength of your masala is going to be determined by how much you put in there. The flavor of it is going to be determined by the ratio of spices that you add in. Those spices should remind you of apple pie. They should remind you of chai. You actually could include the black, black tea that's in chai. I don't do chai because I don't do caffeine. Um, it should remind you of gingerbread. Alright, then you take your water, nice filtered water, and put the desired amount in there. Pour that in your coffee maker, just like you normally would. Close it, and hit go. That's all it takes. When it's ready, you can pour that into your mug and sip on that throughout the day. A thermos, if you're on the go, is great. And that will keep your kapha dosha warmed up and flowing. It'll keep all the snotty, mucky, muddy feeling, congestion that you get free and clear so that you can breathe this spring. It's wonderful. Thank you for joining us. I'm JC. This has been Yoga Studio Satya's 